have the distinct uh, honor to introduce to you this man right here. He just came on board as the new executive director of the Guadalupe Cultural Arts Center. And uh, I want to welcome him. This is his first Tejano Conjunto Festival. He's from Brownsville, Texas, with me. He went up, uh, up to Harvard School, graduated from Harvard. Yes, Teatrista, he's an expert in, in teatro. And he's going to say a few words here. Mr. Jerry Ruiz. Thank you, Juan. Uh, it's a great pleasure and, and honor to be here at the 34th Annual Tejano Conjunto Festival. Uh, and uh, I'm very excited uh, about coming to San Antonio and, uh, and, and taking this position at the Guadalupe Cultural Arts Center, a great cultural institution here in San Antonio, serving the, the Chicano community, the Latino community uh, on the west side. Uh, it's also a real honor to, to be here to induct uh, two people into the Tejano Hall of Fame. It's uh, Eligio, Eligio Escobar and his daughter Ina Escobar. So we want to honor them today and uh, thank you all for coming here and being a part of this festival. It's, a, it's been a great time for me and I've had a lot of fun uh, uh, here this weekend. So Juan, I pass, pass back to you. Thank you, Jerry. You came in and you just started working here at the Guadalupe Cups Rock Center on Monday. And the festival was this week, so it's a baptism by fire. So you met the whole festival as a executive director. And uh, siempre me cae a mí hacer estas presentaciones muy especiales. And this is a very special presentation here. As you know, last night, uh, the first thing that came to the Conjunto Music Hall of Fame was Boni Mauricio. We have three other people that were inducted into the Conjunto Music Hall of Fame this year, and we're inducting two people uh, right now. Okay? A lot of people didn't know who we were inducting because it came down to the last minute before everything was decided. But this is history here for the Tejano Conjunto Festival and also for the Conjunto Music Hall of Fame because this is the first time in the history of the festival and of the Conjunto Music Hall of Fame that we are inducting a father and a daughter at the same time. And the first inductee here is Eligio Escobar. Yes. Eligio Roque Escobar. He was born on December 1st, 1926, and reared in Ben Bolt, Jim Wells County, here in Vegas. Yeah. The influence of an uncle. Escobar learned to play guitar and sing as a child. He honed his skills as he grew to adulthood. He became a professional musician. However, however after an automobile accident in 1960, he injured his legs severely, and this rendered him unable to pursue his professional career. So beginning in 1962, Eligio recorded more than 250 songs for a number of record labels, including Ideal, Nopal, Cometa, Internal. He performed with such groups as Harvest as Los Guadalupanos, Rubén Aranco, Los Fabulosos Cuatro, and many other bands. And although he sang in both English and Spanish, his voice became the most familiar to Spanish language radio listeners. Among his best known songs were Cuando Dos Almas, Rosario Nocturno, and El Diablo. And perhaps his most famous song, El Veterano, spoke to the feelings of the Mexican American veteran of World War II and endeared him to a sizable audience of post war Hispanic music lovers. So today, the second inductee into the Conjunto Music Hall of Fame is Eligio Roque Escobar y dice así. The Guadalupe Cultural Arts Center presents the Narciso Martinez Award for the Conjunto Music Hall of Fame to Eligio Escobar for his profound contribution to Conjunto Music. Y aquí está la familia, la esposa, las hijas. Could you introduce them, Lita, all your family who's here? Thank you very much, Juan Tejera. 
This is my mother. She's 87 years old. She was married to my father for 50 years before he passed away. Jesus Taylor Escobar. Mi madre. El aplauso para mi bonita madre. De 87 years old. Que cuidó a mi papá por 50 años. Para mi hermana Jesucita González. Jesucita Escobar González. Mi hijo John Mayorga. Mi tía Polly. Y mi hermano Elijo Escobar Jr. que está aquí conmigo a recibir el award. Mamá, ¿quieres decir algo, mami? Tengo, tengo mucho gusto por estar aquí en esta fiesta celebrando todo esto que está pasando. Yo soy la esposa de Elijo Escobar Duramos muchos años casados. Y tuvimos cuatro hijos. And now the second inductee and it's propio que we inducted el papá primero, no, porque la verdad el papá. No vieron los hijos y las hijas, no. So, the second inductee today into the Colombo Music Hall of Fame is Linda Escobar. Linda, yes. And it was her father, you know, that launched her musical career. And she has it in her genes already, you know. So Linda has been an international recording artist and currently a Corpus Christi resident, todos de Corpitos, right? She celebrated her 50 years in Tejano and Conjunto Music at the Richard Borchard Regional Fairground in Robstown on August 16th, last year in 2014. She was born in Dallas, Texas and began a musical career at the very, very young age of six years old, along with her papa, Elijo Escobar. Lina recorded her first record at the age of seven years old, and at the age of eight, she co-wrote a song that sold over a million records. And she was eight years old, right? And y'all know this song, I know, because I remember when I was young, I used to sing it, all my family used to sing it too. That song is her signature song called Frigoritos Pintos. So good one. That was Lina Escobar when she was eight years old. What year was that, Lina? 1965. 50 años que cumple la canción esa Frigoritos Pintos. 1965 to 2015. So Lina with her father became a regular performing artist on the Domingo show every Sunday in the 60s and were the only father-daughter team to have touring all over the United States and Mexico. Linda's mission in life has been to promote and preserve her cultural roots the music, la música de conjunto, la música tejana, and to honor our veteranos, like her father era veterano también, y yeah. papá también, to all the veteranos that are here. Yeah. She organized the Veterano Conjunto Festival, and it's now in its 16th year of existence, and she has awarded over 50 scholarships and proceeds from the Veterano Conjunto Festival, 50 scholarships to children, who possess a musical talent in the conjunto and genre. So, since 1965, and it sold over a million copies, probably still selling, but not like Among her songs that have helped to catapult Linda to the top are, besides the Guaritos Pintos, Déjenme Vivir Mi Vida, Mi Cantina, Ya No Me Vuelvo a Casar, Ni Me Debes, Ni Te Debo, Ay Mamá, Papá Ya No Llegues Borracho, Carta Santa Cruz, and her latest with Little Joe, something stupid. In 1987, Lina Escobar was named the Female Vocalist of the Year of the West Texas Music Awards in Lubbock, Texas. In 2001, 2002, and 2014, Lina Escobar was named Female Vocalist of the Year by the South Texas Conjunto Association in San Benito, Texas. On July 13, 2014, Lina Escobar received the Lifetime Achievement Award at the South Texas Conjunto Association, and she has been inducted into the Tejano Roots Hall of Fame in Dallas, Texas, and the Texas Conjunto Hall of Fame in San Benito. Whew. That's a lot of stuff, you know?
In August of last year, he was recognized by the Texas House of Representatives here, the Texas Legislature, and the Congressional Record for her contribution to Tejano Conjunto Music and for being one of our top female Conjunto artists for over 50 years now. Ms. Linda Escobar is the third inductee this year into the Conjunto Music Hall of Fame, Idice Asi. The Guadalupe Cultural Arts Center presents the Narciso Martinez Award for the Conjunto Music Hall of Fame to Linda Escobar for your profound contribution to Conjunto Music. Linda. I am truly moved. When I walked in the Conjunto Festival on Friday, the first thing I saw was my father getting inducted. That really brought tears to my eyes. For me, all I can say is that I've worked hard for this. Right. Now, 50 years as a female vocalist, when you don't get too much help from the guys, they would say, no, almost any guy will help a girl. I'm sorry, that's not the case. Uh, men help men, you know, but it's very hard in the female uh, to industry, to, in, in the music industry for a female to stick it out 50 years. And I've done it by the grace of God and because of my family and because of you guys. And I'm very, 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 very happy that my father and I are being inducted together. It's like, you know, we're singing again together even though he's not here physically, but he's here in our hearts and in our soul. And I'd just like to mention something that um, I want to say. I am so blessed to have lived long enough to celebrate 50 years in the music industry, long enough to see my hair, my hair start turning gray, and to have my youthful laughs be forever etched into the grooves of my face. So many have never laughed, and so many have died before their hair could turn silver. As you get older, it is easier to be positive. You care less about what other people think. I don't question myself anymore. I've even earned the right to be wrong. So I like being old, 57 years old. It has set me free. I like the person I have become. I am not going to live forever, but while I am still here, I will not waste time lamenting what could have been or worrying about what will be. I shall eat dessert every day if I feel like it. Amen. Yo ahora sí, les presento this year's third inductee into the Conjunto Music Hall of Fame, 